Since 2007, this is the eighth time I have written to leaders of mankind about the same issue. The irrational development of science and technology will surely lead to the rapid extinction of humanity, and measures must be taken as soon as possible. This time, I am writing because recently some famous entrepreneurs and many scientists have frequently expressed their opinions on the safety of artificial intelligence AI, calling for attention to the security issues of it. A thousand scientists have signed a letter urging a halt to large-scale AI experiments. They believe that the destructive power of AI is even greater than that of nuclear weapons and could potentially wipe out humanity. Even entrepreneurs and scientists like them can have such a high sense of responsibility. Then why are leaders of mankind so indifferent, and especially the political leaders, haven't taken any action? After all, the direction of the world is primarily determined by statesmen, especially by leaders of major nations, who are key factors in determining the direction of the world. When we talk about environmental issues, resource depletion, biodiversity issues, population issues, terrorism and so on, it seems that we are considering these issues from the perspective of humanity's long-term interests. However, when compared to the issue of human survival, which one is more important? If there are no more humans, none of the issues would matter anymore. So which problem is more important? This simple logic is not that hard to understand, right? I would also like to point out that it's not just AI that may cause the extinction of humanity. If the programs controlling nanorobots developed by nanotechnology were to malfunction and replicate uncontrollably, they could not only wipe out humanity, but also destroy the entire planet. Additionally, genetically engineered toxins could create super plagues that would also lead to the extinction of humanity. These are all warnings that have been raised by scientists. Moreover, even if AI, nanotechnology and genetic engineering cannot exterminate humanity, as long as science and technology continues to develop, something even more powerful will inevitably emerge. As a result, it is evident that many scientific and technological advancements have the potential to wipe out humanity over the next several decades. We cannot afford to put humanity on the brink of destruction, and enough time must be left for us to avoid it. The survival of humanity as a whole is above all else. For over 40 years since 1979, I have been studying human issues, and the conclusion is clear. If science and technology continues to develop irrationally, it will inevitably lead to the rapid extinction of humanity. And I have been advocating and shouting out for this cause all along. In 2007, I took the opportunity of publishing my book, Saving Humanity, to write a letter to leaders of mankind for the first time, calling for attention to this issue. It has been 15 years since then, and I have been working on it in various ways and using various opportunities, including writing letters to leaders of mankind multiple times and elaborating my views. My viewpoint is that we must firmly restrict the development of science and technology, and only when science and technology is kept at a safe level can mankind survive. To achieve this goal, humanity must move towards great unification and use the power of a universal government to control science and technology. In order to promote the cause of saving humanity, I founded Save Human Action Organization SHAO, in 2018. Today, I don't want to plead anymore. I just want to remind leaders of mankind again that if you are truly responsible, you must take action now. This concerns the future of humanity for generations to come, including your offspring and yourselves. That's it. Join Save Human Action Organization and devote ourselves to the mighty torrent of saving human beings. <laughs>